everyone, it's Rebecca McAdam for Card Player TV and today France received its very first bracelet at this year's World Series of Poker while Britain took down its third. Richard Chufty Ashby outlasted a field of 408 players including a tough final table which featured Dan Heimler, Sorel Mitzi, Pat Pezen and John Turner in event number 21 at $1500 buy-in 7 card stud event. He takes home his first bracelet and $140,000. Richard, congratulations. Finally, a bracelet. How does it feel? It feels good, yeah. Really good. Tell me about your whole experience, your journey to the final table. Did you feel like, you know, you were going to take this one down? Not really. I'm pretty negative when it comes to tournaments because I'm so used to busting out. So uh, when I got to the final, obviously, I was second in chips. I thought I had a good chance, but then it kind of didn't go as planned and I was, found myself quite low. So I just sort of hung in there and uh, managed to hit cards right at the end at the right time. It was a bit of a scary final table. You had some big players there. Yeah, it was one of those tables where you're kind of really hoping certain players were going to get knocked out so that, you know, you could see the route to victory a bit more easily. But um, there was, yeah, it was four or five really tough players. So, yeah. Was... You were obviously the best. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I got lucky at the right times and I sort of hung in. I think I hung in there well when I was low. I could have kind of, you know, just given up and sort of chucked my chips in. But I just really kind of played play sort of quite determined. Vanessa Hellebuik won her first bracelet and $192,000 in event number 22, a $1,000 buy-in Ladies No Limit Holden event after beating a massive field of 1,054 players. Okay, so wow, what a reaction. That was unbelievable. It's probably the best crowd and national anthem I've heard since the series started. Yeah, it was amazing. As you said, yesterday I was just like, wow. They say, what do you feel? I said, wow, wow, oh my God, wow. And I couldn't breathe. <laughs> just in shock. the same, I can realize, but a bit more, I guess. It's very stretching. <laughs> it's going to take a while to kind of, for it to sink in, for you to realize you have yeah, a World I Series think, of Poker bracelet. many days, yeah. As the days... Uh, coming, I realize a bit more, but it's still not really, really sure, you know. Now I have this, so I guess it's true, but... <laughs> keep looking at it to yeah, make sure. I think so. I will stay like this a lot, a lot, yeah. What was, <laughs> your, what was your whole experience of the ladies' event? Do you play many ladies' events? Yeah, I played many, many EPT, European Poker Tour events, but it was my first time in Las Vegas. So it's just magic because, you know, for the first time, my first World Series, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't Do you play other events as well? Mm, I don't think so. We will see because I have family in France and I want to, to, to see them. I have two little daughters and I want to see them and show them and after we will see. <laughs> I want them to come. Did you come over just to play the ladies' event? Well... Yeah, on some side maybe I was thinking, but I didn't have time because of the ladies' event, and it's good news anyway. I didn't have time for over tournaments, so I'm I'm glad. Well, how did you find the standard of play? It was really hard, really hard, and I think it was. I, I did a tournament in Monte Carlo that was the level was good, and here it was. Pretty good too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but, but I was proud of that. I'm proud of, of that. I prefer that than winning some fish, she's, you know. <laughs> it so. was a crazy final table, though. It, it moved so quickly. There was like three all-ins to pocket aces, and then yeah. there was uh, your heads up was a bit crazy as well. Yeah, it was crazy because I think, you know, the Danish girl, I think she was very, very strong, and I feared her because I was on her table yesterday. And I, uh, the day after yesterday, so I knew she had more chips than me, so I didn't fight her the day before the final. I, and she was very aggressive, so I said, okay, let's just ignore her, she's not here, and we'll see tomorrow. And then when she had less chips, of course, it was easier to attack her. So as she's really aggressive, and I am too, I think the poor lady between us, was really feeling bad because we are really aggressive. <laughs> so I guess it was hard for the girl <laughs> in the middle. But yeah, I, I knew it was going to be hard to fight with her. 
You must be very proud representing France. Yeah, very, very proud. And the supporters were, were just amazing. It sounded like soccer. Huh? The whole plane. Better than the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, better, better. Stay right here at carplayer.com for more video updates and live coverage. I'm Rebecca McAdam for CarPlayer TV.